Welcome to language lesson 14, and we have a self-check today, um, which should be a lot of fun. But first, we're going to review um, a little bit of diagramming. So we have one sentence here, and another here, but this one is, Emily has swept. So the first thing we're going to notice is a subject, and that is Emily. Emily is a maid. Now she's a subject. She's the one that's doing the action. And the verb is swept, has swept, has a helping verb. So we need to remember that these are both. This is the verb, has swept. So we're going to put them. So we put helping verbs on the same line as the verb. Remember that? So we have has swept, and then we have Emily subject. There you go, so this one's diagram. And then we have this one, Thomas and Bonnie paint. Thomas and Bonnie, first gonna notice that there's a compound subject. Compound is two parts, right? So if we have a compound sentence, it's two sentences joined with a uh, connecting word, and, but, or, or. But here we're gonna have a compound subject and you can also think of a compound word, like backyard. It's compound is two words put together. A compound word is two words put together. So backyard, backyard, or um, kick ball. Kick and ball, two different words. Put them together. But this one is a compound subject. So that means we have two subjects, Thomas and Bonnie. And they're the ones that are both doing the action. So Thomas and Bonnie paint. Paint is the verb. That's what they're doing. So we need to make, remember the sideways house that we made for these? We have a sideways house here. We make it a little bit longer. And then we make our roof line sideways and then our verb line. So we have our compound subject, put and on the line. But we have that first Thomas, and then Bonnie, and then the verb, which is paint. Thomas and Bonnie paint. And that is diagramming a little bit of sentences, and then we'll go on and do some more review. Alright, next we're going to review just some other things. And one of them is the verb takes is takes a past or a present verb. So let's think about it. Let's put it in a sentence. So Sierra takes a chance in a game. She is doing that now, so it is present. It's not she took or she has taken, it's she takes. It's happening now. Um, the past tense for, what is the past tense form of C? that needs help. So it's a helping verb, and it needs a helping verb, and it is a past tense form, seen. So I have seen a bear before, right? Happened before. It's a past tense verb, and it needs a helping verb. I've seen a bear before. It needs a helping verb to go with it. Um, <clears throat> I want you to come up with some rhyming words for the word book. I came up with a few. I came up with book, look, nook, hook, took. But I'm pretty sure you guys can come with, up with more. So you guys can make a list of those. And yeah, have fun with that in your um, time you have. Um, count the syllables in this line with me, okay? So the line is, God is near me all the night. God is near me all the night. So let's count them. God is near me all the night. Five plus two is seven. So there's seven syllables in that line. Um, which sounds more interesting and more poetic? I would like to cheer someone up or I would like to make someone as happy as I. The second one is sounds more poetic, more interesting. The first one is probably how we would say it. I would say, I would love to cheer someone up. I would like to cheer someone up. 
That just, that's how I would say it. But in a poem, it would be much more interesting and poetic to say, I would like to make someone as happy as I. Um, all right, so I think that's all for preparing you for your self-check. Have fun in your self-check. You can look back if you need to. Um, try not to. But yeah, enjoy your lesson and have fun getting ready for your test. All right.